AMD, as in the Advanced Micro Devices Company that you all know and love, has been working on something called the Phoenix APU. What is the Phoenix APU? Well, from the crap that they made earlier in the year, it rises from the ashes like a fe- No, I'm joking. Um, it's actually pretty decent. So based on rumors, the upcoming Zen 4 micro architecture will include the said Phoenix APU, which has performance similar to that of current gen low end C uh, discrete GPUs. So let me put this in a nutshell for you. Your CPU, some CPUs have something called the G iGPU already built in. Lately, um, they've been getting better, but they haven't really been that great. This time around, that iGPU can rival the performance of a power efficiency and all that of a 6500 XT. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's that's uh, you're, are we talking about laptop APUs? Uh, this is the later one. The laptop one's a little bit worse than that. I'll get to that in a second. Okay. Uh, okay. yeah, so the laptop APU is technically already out. There's a lot of testing on it. You can go check it out. I'll, go, I'll get to that, in that at the end. I'm talking about the new stuff that'll be coming out later. Um, okay. And it's even said to be uh, better than a 1050 Ti. So, as you know, there's the 6400 POS C, uh, GPU, the point of sale, obviously, GPU. Um, so think about that, guys. These will come out and it will decimate the low-end GPU market. Decimate it. Because you don't need one anymore. Um, now, Andrew is very correct. We actually already have these in the laptops. Um, and they're really good. I think it's like the 60... 640 M or something. I forget what they're called, but they're actually really good. And, okay. um, they, th so basically those are like the precursor to these. And th these will be in the dead. So are we talking about a dedicated GPU for laptops or are we talking about an APU where it's all on one APU uh, silicon? Yeah. 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 So yeah. Oh. then I don't think we have that on existing so, laptops. So the existing laptops, I don't actually know too much about that because I only looked into this section, but from the testing I read that it's pretty decent. The newer ones that are coming out with AM5, uh, uh, the, the new yeah, socket, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's the exciting stuff. Um, yeah, honestly, like 1050 Ti might sound like old, old news, but that plays most games even today. Yeah. So if you can get that without a dedicated GPU, it's the first time we've seen that kind of performance, obviously. Um, you know, AMD's APUs have been kind of lackluster for the GPU performance mm -hmm. and Intel, but, but Intel also kind of not great for gaming. So I'm hoping this becomes a trend where we don't necessarily need dedicated GPUs to run games on low 720p. You know, even just to get you into gaming without a dedicated GPU because they're not always available, believe it or not. Yep. And the the so the final rumor I want to just share with you guys is it is said that the best of the best version of that APU that will be coming out <laughs> when, I don't know, but sometime soon in the next year, maybe. Um, the rumor is that it is comparable to a 1060 on a chip. That's pretty great. That's freaking yeah, that's amazing. The thing I wonder is um, how they're going to handle video memory and how that's going to be shared. Presumably, these will all be DDR5, so you'll have high-speed memory. Um, but I'm wondering if you'll be able to share like 8 gigs and have essentially 8 gigs of available VRAM or if you're going to run into frame buffer issues. Yeah, so they haven't... It's all rumor, and of course, AMD is keeping their mouth shut. Um, but yeah, I just yeah. wanted to bring that update to you guys that pretty soon the new AM, uh, AM5 architecture chips might have some pretty nice APUs to the point where we don't need low-end dedicated GPUs anymore. Well, of course, they're going to make oh, more man. trash in the future, but, you know, waste of sand. I think we'll see. Here's what I think. I think they've used the custom silicon mm -hmm. in the Xbox series and the PlayStation 5 as kind of a trial, like, why not take these custom uh, APUs that are actually good for gaming and make it into a desktop product? Yeah. Why wouldn't that be a, a great selling product? You know, it's it's the best of both worlds. You can, you know, make a lineup with CPU power, GPU power, or a combination of both. Exactly. And uh, 
it's it's gonna really be disruptive in the low end market because it's like no dude don't buy a 1050 ti for another hundred dollars just go buy an apu you know 